Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to discuss on Terraform. First we will see what is Terraform. Then we will see its installation. Then various concepts and commands. So let's see one by one. Starting from introduction. So Terraform is a is an infrastructure as code tool that lets you build, change, and version cloud and on-prem resources safely and efficiently. So basically, it is an infrastructure as a code tool that lets you define both cloud and on-prem resources in human readable configuration files that you can version, reuse, and share. So in simpler terms, we can say that one that we can manually create any AWS resources by going to AWS console. But imagine a situation where you need multiple instances. So in that scenario, it would be very inefficient if you create one by one instances by going in the AWS console. So in such scenario where you would need multiple resources, Terraform is a way to go. By means of Terraform, you would create configuration file for one resource and you can use it multiple times. Or in configuration file, you can list out all the resources you need. Then Terraform will create the resources for you. So we can say that one is a way to achieve infrastructure as a code. Infrastructure as a code means the infrastructure can be created by means of code or script. With this script, new resources can be created. They can be replicated in different environment as needed. So for example, you are creating a development server and similar to that, you want to create a staging server as well. So you can use the same configuration file for the creation of staging server. So these are the use cases of Terraform. Infrastructure as a code would work as a normal or any other kind of code. This is also being version control so it would be check in check out in the any version control like git or github so that it can be tracked that who changed the code at particular time and what were the changes so this was the just introduction of terraform going forward let's see installation so installation can be done in two ways. It can be done by homebrew in Mac OS or it can be done by downloading the binary from the Terraform registry website. So let's see uh, the first option, which is the homebrew by means of homebrew so for this the requirement is that that homebrew should be installed at your pc if it is not installed you need to install that one so in the below description i would provide a link to install homebrew i would also go in this tutorial quickly how we can do that. So let's see. Running the 
or installing the homebrew you can run these commands so whenever you would run this command homebrew would be installed so i am going to provide the link of step by step installation of homebrew so first you run this command then after that if you have a silicon um, mac os involved in that case like m1 or m2 then you need to do an extra step so by this step you can add homebrew to your local path after that once you done with the homebrew write the command brew install terraform so this is going to install terraform for you this would first fetch terraform and then after that it would install terraform for you in your local so when i do terraform hyphen v it would provide me the version of the terraform so by this command you can install terraform so by this the terraform installation is being achieved now let's see various concepts and commands involved in terraform so in this command or concepts we are going to learn how we can create different aws resources by means of terraform by using various terraform commands in our local so the creation of infrastructure would happen in a similar way as if we are creating the infrastructure on aws console by means of commands so in the concepts and command section let's see first thing write this command mkdir terraform this is going to create a directory named terraform in your working directory after that change to terraform directory whichever you just created so in my case this is in my this particular folder pwd is for present working directory now once you create this terraform directory or folder this folder is empty now next thing let's do one thing create a file name main.tf tf is an extension in this one we are going to declare first our provider whichever provider we are going to use so we are going to use aws so aws is a provider for us then we are going to provide the region where our aws resource we want to create then access key and secret key so once you write this one after that save this file and in the command window just write terraform in it so by terraform in it the plugins of aws would be installed so this is a kind of a one time if you are using aws so it would it would use those aws related plugins if you put uh, some other provider in the providers then it would download those so for example if you put azure in the provider it will download the azure plugins for you so there are there are many providers terraform has you can go on the so this is for aws provider but if you go and see these are the provider which Terraform supports. There are n number of providers which Terraform supports. So if you go in AWS and if you go to documentation, you will find out all the commands and examples which is provided here. So you can go through them and you can learn more on Terraform. Again, going to 
this window, we can see that the plugins are installed or downloaded in local. After that, let's go to Visual Studio in the main.tf file. We have added resource AWS VPC. We have provided the variable as a development hyphen VPC. This is purely for Terraform. Then in the side of blocks, we have provided our work in the VPC, how much, like what would the range we need for the side of block. Then also we have created a subnet and then we have provided the name of the subnet in Terraform. Then this particular subnet is going to use this VPC ID. So we have provided AWS underscore VPC development hyphen VPC. So this particular ID would be provided to this internally. So whenever this script would execute, first it is going to create a AWS VPC. Then this AWS VPC being used by the subnet internally. And inside that one, the side of block we have provided the range for this particular subnet and the availability zone is US East 1A I have provided. So when we going to execute this one through our command, this is going to create AWS resources for us. So in the terminal, what I'm going to do, I am going to run Terraform apply command. So Terraform apply command, if I have not saved my file, what would happen? If I have not saved my file, what is going to happen? Nothing is going to happen, no changes. So internally, Terraform checks the current state and the desired state. If current state is equal to desired state, then nothing would happen. But if the current state and desired states differ, then Terraform try to create, try to make them equal. So after that, I have applied Terraform apply command. In the Terraform apply command, it is showing me plus means this is this resource is going to be created. So AWS subnet, which is dev subnet one, we provided in the configuration file and the VPC. This is going to be created. So plus means it is going to be added. So plan two to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. So it will give you the nice summary and then it will ask you to validate and then write yes. So once you enter the value yes, then only it is going to create the resources for you else it is not going to create. If you won't type yes, or if you type something else instead of yes, it is not going to create. So after we type yes, it is showing uh, resources to added. So this way we saw that how the resources are added. If you go to AWS now and if you log in, uh, you can see VPC being created with this particular ID. Uh, ID is this for VPC. For subnet, this is the ID. If you go in AWS, you will see it. But for now, I'm not going there because it is it is going to be take more time and we want to create this video as shorter as possible with more and more information. So this is the way by which you can create various resources through Terraform. And when you want to destroy your resource, there are two ways you can do that. You can either provide the particular resource to be destroyed or if you are doing some kind of learning or something and if you provide the destroy command uh, without any so here we can see here i have provided the terraform destroy this is going to destroy all the resources which i created but if i only provide particular id then it is going to only destroy that particular 
subnet or whatever resource I want. So this way you can destroy the resources as well. So in a nutshell, we saw that one that how we can create the resources, we can destroy the resources, we can also change the resources if we want to change the subnet ID name from from uh, this particular name to some other name then only thing we need to do is change the value in this one like two and if we run this then this that is going to only do the changes for this particular uh, resource and it is only would change this name rest of the things would not be changed so when you see in the final output you would see a tilde sign in yellow that tilde sign indicates that some changes happened in this particular resource that i am leaving for you to exercise so i would suggest please go through all these commands you can check these commands in the documentation which is provided the website for this is registry.terraform.io terraform has nicely provided all the documentation which you can refer while you were doing working or whatever you're doing for learning purpose so please go through that so terraform is built by the company named hashicorp and they have different products as well but for infrastructure as a code, they have Terraform. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please help us to grow by subscribing our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Instagram as well. And please send us in case of any questions or suggestions at cloudafolic at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a good one.